informed us for the longest time. And here are the awareness efforts being led by our medical experts present here today. May I call on GSK Medical Affairs Manager, Dr. Melvin Pasay. Dr. Sylvia Yang, World Asthma Day Chair of Philippine College of Chest Physicians or PCCP. And Dr. Carmela Casala, President, Philippine Society of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, or PSI. Hello, good afternoon everyone. You may now take your seats. So to start off, Dr. Melvin, could you tell us, ano ba talaga yung asthma? A while ago, I mentioned that 11 million Filipinos, dapat na ba tayo ma-alarm dyan? Yes. So, um, I'll just have a very short presentation to answer your questions. Um, okay. So, what is asthma? So, this is the scientific definition of asthma. So, it's a chronic inflammatory disorder of the airways. So, basically, the airways are the one that the airways are the one that's problematic in asthma. No? So, not necessarily the lung. So, if we look at the Diagram here, we have, you can see the normal lung and the airway. So, maluwag yung tubo, no? Nang normal na, na baga ng patient compared doon sa tubo ng isang patient na may asthma. So, makikita natin the difference is yung airway ng patient with asthma na mamaga yung inner portion and then yung outer portion sumisikip. So, there are what we call mga muscles outside that constrict the airways. So that gives the different symptoms of asthma like um, chronic cough, uh, sputum production, shortness of breath. So this is what I was telling earlier. So as a result of that abnormal airway, a patient with asthma will experience wheezing, breathlessness, chest tightness, and of course, Coughing particularly at night and early morning. So what can trigger an asthma attack? No? So a lot of factors no? from animals, dust, changes in weather, hot, cold, chemicals, exercise, and then infection, which is actually the most common, and smoke, uh, tobacco smoke, and then stress. So this is a very important question that Actually, can you know we were discussing? So, can asthma be cured? No. Yes, no. No. Maintain. Mas madami. Oh, mas madami yung no. So the answer is. <laughs> okay. So I will get to that. <laughs> okay. So I'll get to that. So asthma basically cannot be cured. But it can be controlled. Okay, so once you have asthma, when as a child, pagtanda mo like kagaya ni Mr. Reporter there, no. So the asthma is still there, no. But he's just controlled. That's why he's not experiencing any symptoms. So that's basically the reason why it cannot be cured. So like kanina we heard that 11 million Filipinos are suffering from asthma and it's basically one out of 10 Pinoy's, no? But the more problematic thing here is that 98% of asthmatics are uncontrolled. So, you see, our, our, our colleague over there is part of the 2% wow. na controlled. No? So, 98% uncontrolled. So, the, the lucky ones belong to the small portion. So what's the burden? What's the problem if the asthma is uncontrolled, no? So higher chances of getting hospitalized, um, higher chances of um, unscheduled visits to your doctors, no? Sometimes your doctor will ask you to come back every three months, but because of uncontrolled asthma, means that every week, every month, so yon. And then it will put a lot of economic costs into your into the problem. No? So you have direct hospitalization, and then indirect cost is for, let's say, for patients 
being absent from work or for moms taking care of asthmatic babies, hindi rin sila pumapasok. So, madaming problems if the asthma is uncontrolled. So, ito yung mga things that they cannot do, no? Hindi nakakapaglaro. And then, limitations in doing household chores. Um, yung sleep nila. And then, yung social activity. So, basically, yan yung mga usual complaints that we see in the clinic. So, why is control important? No? So, it's... The level of asthma control is the extent to which the manifestation of asthma can be observed in the patient or have been reduced or removed by treatment. So basically, you want to control asthma because you want to control the symptoms that you experience or that the patients experience. Plus, this is also important. Yung future risk na pwedeng mangyari sa patient pag yung asthma hindi na control. So, what should uncontrolled asthmatics do? Of course, consult your doctor. So basically, yun lang yung simple message. Consult your doctor. It's not, it's not advisable that you self-medicate, no? Because it should be a partnership with your doctor. So, asthma, asthma treatment is long-term, maybe lifetime. So, partnering with your doctor is important. So, sorry. So I think that was the last. So achieving these goals require partnership between the doctor and the patient. So before we become as malaya, so it's important that we, as patients or us as doctors, partner with each other to attain this objective. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Doctor Melvin. Yes.